implantable defibrillators are also called in short as ICD and AICD meaning implantable cardioverter defibrillator and automatic implantable cardioverter defibrillator. They are devices which are implanted under the skin and connected to the heart using leads introduced through the blood vessels. These devices continuously monitor the heart rhythm and automatically treat serious abnormal rhythms when needed. This is the x-ray of a person who has a defibrillator implanted. It shows the device in the left upper part of the chest and high voltage coils used to deliver the controlled shocks within the heart for the fraction of a second. Though the defibrillator is a device meant to give controlled high voltage shocks to treat serious heart rhythm disorders, it can also give low voltage signals to produce contractions of the heart when the heart has slowed down significantly. This is done using the pacing electrodes seen at the tip. The defibrillator has a capacitor which can store energy at high voltage. When a serious rhythm disorder requiring a shock is detected, the device charges automatically and delivers the shock within the heart. The current passes from the high voltage coil to the metallic can of the device. Do all ICDs require a high voltage coil inside the heart? There are devices known as subcutaneous ICDs which do not have a coil within the heart. Instead, they have coil under the skin near the breast bone. The device is implanted below the armpit and connected to the high voltage coil by a lead under the skin. Do ICDs always give a shock? No. Many a time, less serious abnormalities of heart rhythm are left alone. Still more important ones can be suppressed by giving faster but low voltage signals known as overdrive pacing. If it succeeds, a potentially painful shock can be avoided. Are the shocks given by ICDs always for serious rhythm disorders? Like any other automatic device, ICDs can also make mistakes. Up to one-fourth of the shocks given by an ICD can be for a rhythm disorder for which a shock is not needed. These are called inappropriate shocks. The frequency of inappropriate shocks can be reduced by programming of the ICD by an external device known as ICD programmer. Can the ICDs be remotely monitored? Yes, ICDs can communicate with devices in the vicinity at home made specifically for that purpose. Those devices can transmit the signals over a telephone network to a physician situated elsewhere, even in another continent over the internet. This facility reduces the number of follow-up visits for a person staying far away from the hospital. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.